The rumored April Direct gets more and more real as a big new rumor points to this Thursday as the day Nintendo is ready to make one more Reggie-led drop. Gabe, Gaming Intel says they have an exclusive source who has been correct before, and they're saying that the next Nintendo Direct will be taking place on April 11th. That would be this Thursday, and that follows the patterns that Directs have established. There was a lot of rumors about an April Direct about a week or so ago, and now things are coming more into focus. The notion of a Direct happening this week is obviously an exciting one, but like Gaming Intel says, you take everything with a grain of salt these days. I mean, plans change, you know, maybe we are gonna get an April Direct, who knows? But the 11th sec, so soon, exciting, exciting stuff. Gaming Intel says they want to let you know uh, that their sources have been correct at predicting the last couple of directs, so fans should have a little more confidence on this one, and it's being picked up by reputable sites uh, across the internet. So I am, for better or worse, starting to feel the rumbly in my tumbly of getting very excited for what Nintendo could drop. We talked about the April Direct recently and how there is a lot of just loose ends that probably need to be tied up before E3. You got obviously Mario Maker 2 that definitely needs an info dump before that game launches. You have other titles that are missing release dates. You have maybe some smaller experiences that don't have uh, the spotlight at E3. You have the, the recent Best Buy leak with all of that Metroid Prime trilogy. Nonsense slash maybe reality. This lines up. I think it's happening. Definitely let us know in the comments down below if you believe a Direct is happening this week. But Gabe, I want to know not what you predict from this Direct, but what would you want out of a Direct in just three days? Uh, okay, look, we're getting closer to E3. Obviously, some big, big things are going down during that show. There are talks of new hardware, like revisions, you know, and we already know that there's some other big games coming. Something about animals crossing streets or something. Big stuff. But there's a lot of other things that kind of just need to be, like, thrown out the way. Right, and not that I don't like this game, I'm actually like super excited for it, but you're right, Mario Maker needs an info dump, and I'd rather have it now than uh, during like E3, because presumably that game is coming like within that week. So I don't want that to be a huge part of whatever they have going on E3, so show it now so that we don't have to worry about it. Show us that multiplayer is finally in there, tell us all about that, and I guess that's my big hope. I just want Nintendo to throw out all the stuff that isn't quite E3 worthy, so that E3 can be as good as it possibly can. Indeed. I think Fire Emblem Three Houses may be another game that potentially fits in that category. It is a July release, and plenty of people are super pumped for a new console Fire Emblem, but I think it's a bit of a slower-paced presentation slash info dump, and, and I wonder if it would be... Well, I, I just straight up want it to be a part of this supposed to direct as opposed to E3 so that they can focus on maybe some some quicker moving, uh, more exciting reveals at the show itself. So I agree with you. I think getting a few of these things out the way so that E3 can be as bombastic as possible, especially games that are in the near term window, that summer window. Yeah, just just let us know. You know, I know a lot of people will be really eager to see if like Animal Crossing is revealed, especially if this is Reggie's last appearance or if Luigi's Mansion 3 finally gets some new details. But personally, I'd rather those, given how much hype and how little is known, be saved for E3 and utilize this time to explore, obviously, Smash Bros. 3.0, Mario Maker 2, so on and so I forth. I think that the Smash Up they tend to be like sizable enough that it would get shown at something like this. And, you know, it's clear as day. We need to see the Joker gameplay. Cool. And, you know, why not even just like finish off with a new character reveal similar to what they did to Joker? We don't even have to see gameplay. And then E3 shows us the gameplay. There's a lot that they can do with this one. Yes, indeed. Do you think Reggie's a part of this? Do you think that this is part of the reason that it would be dropping April 11th? He hasn't been a part of them recently, really. Like, yeah, during E3. It's, I mean, but I would hope so, right? Like, Reggie, you're, like, leaving, like, you know, within a week or two. So, yeah, I, I hope he's in it. If it happens on the 11th, yes, I, I think Reggie has some presence. Yeah, I think whether it's even just like a simple send off or like, hey, he wants to have one more thing. Perhaps he can do like a one more thing, really awesome new reveal because don't count out a new game or something completely just out of left field. There's been constant rumors about Pikmin. 
maybe. I would love that, but maybe. Uh, also, I wonder if Nintendo is just really eager to show Sony exactly how it's done. And since State of Play uh, had mixed reviews, hey, we want to get one more direct out before E3 to remind you who is the king of these direct-to-fan presentations. I really want them to announce another Microsoft game. We've been playing Cuphead, it's no secret. It's fantastic. It's so much fun on Switch, and it's so cool that Nintendo was able to grab that game. Microsoft has said that there will be more releases on Switch within the next 12 months. Why not announce another one? And Gabe, I know yep. which one you want, and frankly, I'm, I'm on board with that. I would love to see them announce Ori in the Blind Forest, and I would love to see them announce a even if it's a little bit later plans for the sequel to also hit i don't Switch. think it's possible for will of the wits to come out like if, if they can somehow swing that man that that becomes a real conundrum where do i get it first day zach i mean again oh you've got yeah, it on switch i mean it's gorgeous on xbox one yeah. x don't get me wrong we got to play it last e3 and it's beautiful but i mean cuphead looks so good and it's so fun to take on the go and i think given the metroidvania nature and just how obsessive you can get with that game and collecting everything it is an ideal fit for the on the go yeah, i mean i'm excited to see what they have coming up and it seems all but assured at this point that ori and the blind force is going to be a thing so if something microsoft is to happen you know that that's what i want zach what i want though you know we've had rumors about it forever we've heard the game is done they're just holding it we've had best buy talk about it we're not talking about it, post about it Metroid Prime Trilogy. It kind of just feels like it's time. Like yeah. that game, like we know, we know yeah. it exists. Why not just give us a time frame when you're gonna release it, show it, and, and boom. What if they? Sometimes they like to do this. It's not a whole lot of lead up, but what if it's May? Oh man, oh man. <laughs> hey, it's 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 a, it's a yeah. port. It's it's older. It's been ready. Get people super just psyched for e3 they don't really have a whole lot going on labo vr in oh, a couple of man. days that that would be crazy that metroid prime trilogy out in may clear the way for the fall it doesn't interfere but it gets people excited and it's a great way to grab sales as people get hyped for summer and yet there's a pretty empty month yeah. in may D dude nice. dude I, I don't think they do it but man that would be that would be amazing that would be absolutely amazing I'm going to go out on a limb, a weird limb, Gabe. This is a branch that has maybe some fungus, maybe an, an orange-colored leaf, even though it's not the I hear, Wait, whoa, whoa. And I'm going to say, I want if, them... I hear if you eat that leaf, magic stuff happens, so... <laughs> Gosh, that's... I, I, I don't know what kind of magic that is, but um, <laughs> I'm going to probably abstain. Uh, but what I hope Nintendo does not abstain from uh, for another year is another mini console. How about the N64 Mini finally rearing its head as Virtual Console moves along at a glacial pace <laughs> i'm down for another n64 or another mini console and this time the n64 it's got a sweet library i think it would be very cute in its small form factor and after taking a year off maybe nintendo wants to get back in on the small console market. okay so we kind of had a tiny tiny taste of what this would be like with turok recently i played that game originally <laughs> on n64 played it on switch it's it's an awesome like version of, of turok it, it like plays perfectly the only thing that makes me hesitant about this, aside from Nintendo themselves saying that they have no plans for it, but they could just be lying, so cool, is that we are hypothetically getting console revisions this year. So what, three new hardware like products for them? A Switch Mini, a Switch Pro, and a N64 Mini? Like, man, that is a lot of hardware on store shelves, and I don't know that Nintendo wants to do all that within one year. This is the company that had a new 3DS XL, a 2DS, a 2DS XL. Uh, they had an NES Mini. They had an SNES. They they Not are in the same year. Really good at, <laughs> but at one point, a lot of those were all on the, the store shelves at yeah, once. Yeah. I don't think an N64 Mini really clashes with new Switch consoles, especially depending on the release. And remember, there's no guarantee that those are both out this year that's the heavy rumor but we have had n64 rumors we've seen uh different pieces of that puzzle even though nintendo says no and i think it might be time for them to drop something uh it feels like this would be the place not e3 but here i would be pumped for it mario 64 again i'm down yeah oh okay so other than mario 64 and the zelda games that are very very beloved just like what are like two games you would want on that thing the ones that probably can't happen. Oh. Banjo. Uh, yeah, Goldeneye. yeah, those aren't happening. Never mind. Uh, Mario Kart, Mario 64. I would want like Quest 64. 
<laughs> I think the lineup is a bit like interesting of what they decide to do with that, what they can you know acquire. I mean, I'd love to see something like Diddy Kong Racing come back, but again, there's so many what interesting. Dude, I've brought this up a couple of times and tangents. But what's that Bumblebee game, uh, game? Jack Bumblebee or Bumblebee Jack? What, what is it when you play as a Bumblebee? <laughs> I do not remember. Glover? No, Gex. no it's an... Oh, dude, Gex is amazing. Do you remember the, the, those, like, the boxer and commercials for that always had Gex with, like, a real girl, like a like a good-looking, like, female? Yeah, <laughs> was that no. your thing? I'm just saying I... Okay, it's Buck, Buck yeah. Bumble game. Yeah, Buck that's Bumble. the game I was telling you about. <laughs> All right, so Game wants Buck Bumble, Metroid Prime Trilogy, and uh, clearing the waters for a beautiful E3. And I would love to see another Microsoft drop and maybe an N64 mini announcement. Let us know in the comments down below if you think this Direct is happening, and if so, what you want to see at that like button. If you're pumped for Thursday, remember, if the Direct is to be, they probably will announce it on Wednesday the 10th. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. I am hopeful that this happens, and I'm going to go on record and say I believe that it is. It feels like it's lining up. There's been so many rumors, and we're due. Gabe, I know you think it's quick, but it's been months. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I have just like this inkling in my head saying it's not happening, but... I, I, well, you should, pro I, ooh, you should probably get the inkling out of your ooh, head. I feel like that is dangerous to have. I mean, hopefully it does, obviously. I, I mean, I would love it, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm taking a wait-and-see approach right now. Give us your take in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Everybody. Have a great start to your week. And until next time, for myself and Gabe, plus Gabe, one more, one more Reggie moment. We yeah, need we do. it. Yeah, we, we need do. it, baby. Switch Force, out. <laughs>